Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Wife. If you are new here, my name is Sipoga Zasomi and thank you so so much for joining me. Please do check out the rest of my videos and if you enjoy my content, don't leave without subscribing. And to everyone who has subscribed, thank you so so much guys. It really helps grow my channel. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's at modernwife underscore ZA. So today we have a special guest. <laughs> Are you really special because you've been here before? I'm a special guest. I mean, this is my first time this year, so I am a special guest. Okay, you're making a special appearance, but yes, we yes. have um, a special guest. So for those who don't know who you are, uh, please do introduce yourself. Hello, 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 modern, modern oh, what are they called? Modern family. Oh, hello, hello, modern family. <laughs> Uh, my name is Yunuaba Somi. I am a husband to this beautiful wife. I got her to inherit my surname, which is Somi, so she took it from me. And thank you so much again for inviting me. Okay. And yeah, let's get on this. by the title of the video today we're doing something different we're doing something new and we're doing a movie review yeah i'm a movie fan so <laughs> so hence i thought let me bring um someone else because i tend to be not objective at times and uh, me and spoiler alerts like this so to not spoil it for you guys i thought let me bring someone who's very good at explaining movies without really spoiling it for you so um, today we're doing a review for Coming to America. We watched it um, last week. It's last week, Moss. Yeah, yeah we Friday. Watched, yeah, we Friday watched it last Saturday. week, Friday. Yeah, it was Friday. Okay, so before we get to our thoughts and our opinions, do you mind maybe just explaining what the movie is really about? Okay, okay, Modern Fam. So the movie is actually about uh, Eddie Murphy, who's called Akim in the movie. King Akim. King Akim, yes. Mm -hmm. King Akim, sorry, Your Highness. <laughs> <laughs> so, King Akim uh, is actually passing the throne. I think he needs to pass the throne, but now uh, he has no son because Ulisa, the wife, has got three children, daughters, daughters, daughters yes. Yeah. So now he finds out that he's got a son, and the son is in America where he met Ulisa. Mm -hmm. So, he travels to America to fetch his son so that he can pass the throne to him okay. so but the movie is about how they train him to become king prince prince yes prince. prince to how to for him to become prince so it's basically about that there's laughter there's love there's nomzamo <laughs> so you are yeah. not gonna forget to mention I that <laughs> so yeah that's what the movie is basically about guys i don't want to say too much because mm -hmm. i really want you to watch it i would actually advise that you watch the first one yeah. if you have not watched it watch the first one then watch the second one okay okay but if if they've never watched the first one would you say they must still watch this one or you would recommend i think they should watch the first one there are things that uh, will only be yeah, funny yeah. or make sense if you've, if you've seen. seen the first one. Okay, 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 then that's fine. Okay, so guys, we're gonna do the review. These are our opinions and our thoughts. We're not film producers. We're not um, in the film industry. These are really our opinions and thoughts as viewers and content creators. Are you a content creator? Yes, definitely. Yes, yeah, we are content creators. <laughs> so, um, okay, so we're going to uh, sort of review the movie based on the audience, the cast, the tone, the storyline, as well as the production. So those are the five things. These are our metrics. These are our metrics. Yes. So these are, are the like yeah. Anyway, so these are the Somi metrics. They are not the standard, but these are our metrics. So firstly, before we get to our metrics then, uh, the genre, what genre would you say this movie is? Uh, I'd say it's comedy, family. Okay, family. It's, yeah, family. I think because they are kids, there's a small daughter who's. But a it's PG thirteen. Yeah, hence family, parents, uh, okay. parental, parental guidance. Parental guidance. Okay, yeah. whatever. So it okay. is family, comedy, okay. family. Okay. So, um, okay, guys, starting with audience, who do you think the movie was sort of um, made for, or who is it targeted at? Okay, except. I already said it's family, so I think it's family and 
I think it's mostly for Africans. I think it makes sense to Afri- for Africans. And obviously Americans, because they're mm. the first one as well. But okay. I think uh, for Africans, it kind of... Okay. It speaks to us. Speaks to us because yeah. there's Nomza Mumbata. There's Nomza Mumbata. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the whole thing, Pela, yeah, yeah, your, your king. Uh, your yeah, kingdom. Your yeah, kingdom. It's, it's very African, you know. Oh, okay. Okay, so, I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. Oh. So, number one, um, cast. What would you give them for cast? I'll give them a four. And why? I'll give them a four because... Uh, they got the characters. They they got good characters. I don't want to lie. Okay. I mean, even the characters that they chose, they are doing exceptional work. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I feel like the reason I'm not giving them a five, it's because I feel like they could have gotten more African to take other parts. Mm-hmm. Like where's the snipes, guys? Where's the snipes is doing a good job in the movie. He's he's funny. He's he's doing something he's different. You know. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like they could have gotten another African. You know? So you think he wasn't killing it for you? He was, but I feel like. We, we have people who could have killed it even you, better. You know, even who's that guy, Lona? Oh, 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 who's an actor? Why we see pop generations? Oh, 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 EFF and go. Oh, yeah, we'll like, find his name. I forgot his Ooh, name. Oh, he would have it. killed I feel like it. Like he would have killed it. Oh, he would have killed it. Yeah, yeah I don't remember. Fana Mukwe, na Fana Mukwe. Yes, I feel like oh, that guy would have made at that part. Oh, Fana would have killed it. I don't know why he doesn't act anymore. So, uh, EFF pen. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, I think that's what I think. And you? Okay. For me, I think I'll also give them a four in terms of cast, and that is based on the fact that um, uh, they were able to get everyone back, guys. Like yes, thirty did, plus eh? something years later, but they were able to have everyone back. I think they probably ninety percent of the cast uh, from their first one, um, I think they, they 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 back. So I think it's very very. Uh, that was very good. Um, I wouldn't give them a five because I think. Can we just see movies where Eddie Murphy have, has one role? <laughs> <laughs> and there are not five Eddie Murphys in one movie. Uh, my, my cousin used to say, Good, your Eddie Murphy is selfish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my cousin used to say, At one point, Eddie Murphy is going to make a movie where he plays everything. <laughs> It's him throughout. He's the mother, the I father, know, the kid. Know, know. So uh, that was the only thing why I'm not giving them a five star for that. But I think um, they did a very good job in bringing everyone back. I guess people were very excited about it. They were. Um, and they were happy to, to be back. Then uh, moving on to tone now. Um, that just in terms of the tonality, how the movie made you feel, what vibe it gave, even the picture, maybe what vibe that gave to you. Um, what move, move, like sort of emotions were maybe evolved or whatever, what vibe, what mood that the movie gave, what, what do you think the I, tone was? I, it's, with, look, for me, the whole Kingdom thing, I think Eddie Murphy, they're pulling it very well. Okay. You know, I feel like the, that whole throne and the attires and the finisher, I feel like they do it very well. Okay. So for me, that they do very well. Okay. And in terms of... Um, what would you rate them? I would rate them a, a four and a half. Ha! Have you seen those attire with Tuma Cross at this touch? Yeah, but I feel like I would give them a four and a half for that. Okay. And yeah. Okay. I think I would give them a three. Look, it wasn't a bad movie, but it's also not a great movie. Um, Maybe I'm too much of a critic. I don't know. I'm not that much generous with my scores. In terms of the vibe and the tone and everything, I think I'll give them a three. And uh, look, uh, I'm not someone who's been privy to Ebu Kwasini or The Kingdom or everything like that. So uh, um, I don't know how realistic it was. It doesn't really need to be realistic. It's, it's a, a movie. It's a movie. And Pella, it's, it's, it's exaggerated. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah, it, that's my problem. So, no, it's a comedy. It, it has to be exaggerated to a point where, you know? Okay. But I think what you're saying i get what you're saying mm-hmm. you you feel like it's not realistic but i feel like it's it's a, the, that's what they were aiming for okay i guess then i'll give them a three in terms of the tone and the, the other thing which i need to mention is this whole sort of like africanism mm-hmm. for me i'm i'm really sort of um 
penalizing them on that because I feel like there's this whole thing where we create this sort of um, Africanism whenever they do these American movies based on Africa. They create the sense of Africanism that I'm not quite sure if it's realistic. And I know a lot of people, like you're saying, it doesn't really have to be realistic because it's a comedy. But I think it's, it's one of those things that they do and they create these fictional countries that makes them run away from being embracing the african culture. yes and being truly authentic like like i'm saying that the 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 accent i don't know where that accent is based from even when those other guys had speak. an accent there's this african accent guys that That's people on have it's on movies, on movies. movies. <laughs> and it's on movies only it's on movies and only I think they're trying to fake a Nigerian accent, but... But that's not how a Nigerian... Um, well, there are so many languages in Nigeria, but I feel like they are, they are, when they speak English, their accent is even richer than that. Even Zimbabweans or all the other African... Like I said, I'm not privy to a lot of how kingdom and everything happens in other African countries, but that African accent and that Africanism that they always try and portray in movies... I feel like it's really not realistic and it makes them not correct certain stereotypes and they always run from really being authentic by creating these fictional countries like Yazamunda. So the accent yake is Yazamunda. Yazamunda. So yeah. It's a Zamunda accent. And then the other thing is storyline. So what would you give them for storyline? Storyline I would give them I there I think I would give them 3 or even less. Why? I feel like it was forced, first of all. Okay. I feel like uh, they created what to you know now he's got a child. And on the first one, there was no other place where he was dating that woman. Okay. Do you get what I'm okay. saying? So they, I think like they forced it for it to, to, to make sense. To make sense. And I think, I think they, there are other creative ways that they could have made. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. for it to make okay. sense. But okay. I feel like the storyline. Nah. So the whole thing of him having a son or how they made him to have a son. How they made him to have a son. So you think the whole thing of him having a son, it's not really that far-fetched, yeah, but it's, it's just how in terms of the, 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 the made It's them. fine for him to have a son. It's just that I don't know how they could have introduced it, but the way Abai and Zengai, it's just so... Okay. And you know the funny thing as well is that he was saying that, who is this guy? Is it Tracy? Is it Tracy Morgan Law or Lala or Malum? Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think at first yes. they were saying that he's going to be the son. Ha, then someone was old. like, "But hey, wait a minute, the age difference between those two people." <laughs> so I think I get what you're saying when you're saying that it was really forced. They say they say Klanganis. So I think I do get what you're saying. For me, in terms of the storyline, I think I'll also give them a three. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that it's really great, um, but I don't also don't think that it's bad. And I feel like though the trailer does not give the entire storyline. I know that a trailer is not supposed to tell you everything. You don't even see Unomzam on that trailer. You don't. You and don't. And she has role. yes, and she has a big role. That's actually very true. Mm. You don't even see her on the trailer and she has a she has quite a significant role. Yes. So I feel like the trailer is really just so much on him having a son and it doesn't really focus on the other stuff that you get to yes. see in the movie. And this is on production. Yeah. How everything was put together the visuals, this, the technical, all of that. What do you think of production? I'd give them a three and a half. Okay, why? Three and a half because, um, just because of the music. You know, we're sold so much about Nasty C being there, about Nasty the soundtrack. soundtracks, Nasty C, Prince KP. I didn't even hear them. I didn't either. I didn't. Maybe, guys, if you did hear them, let me know so that we can go and check it out. Yeah, let but us know in the comment yeah, section if just you watch the movie. That yeah. music part, for me, it kind of became a spoiler. As but a, yeah, there was Davido, so at least there were African artists where there. There, there were some songs, the African. Yeah, that, that yeah, were there. yeah. We're not but when it comes so to. Watch the movie. When it comes to the picture, the production, I think the production was, was well executed. Okay. I feel like. Um, a bit unrealistic here and there, mm -hmm. but uh, it is it is it was well executed, but not perfectly. Okay, okay. Yeah, but it was it was okay. Maybe you need song? to watch it again so that you can hear the the other, the, the other the, the songs, ne? Yeah. I maybe I should. <laughs> <laughs> so um, now I would give them a three in terms of production, and. <clears throat> 
this is why so what i was trying to say is that um yes i didn't tell on the first one that it was a studio production because maybe it was based in a lot of izindo in america and stuff like that yeah when you're gonna try and bring something a also to africa at my age i am expecting a bit more authenticity so certain things i could see oh by no guys pay you it pay you really. <laughs> like this can't be animals walking here so you get what i'm trying to say yeah. and maybe yeah, it was difficult for them to get a real lions I, i don't know but, they, but that lion was, was not <laughs> So so for me I think I'm going to hem them on the fact that it's a studio production I'm really going to sort of penalize them again on that mm. so I think for me for it I did really expect it to be to 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 be um a bit more authentic certain things I could just say bah ai ai kokele ai kokele So would you say the movie is boring <clears throat> Okay. So so you want my overall yeah yeah thing of overall, the movie. Or, or, okay. Yeah. I'll tell you what I did enjoy about the movie. Okay, tell me a rating of the overall. Of the overall movie. Yeah. I think I'll still give it a 3. A 3. Yes, I'm averaging on my other scores. Yeah, based so on. So I'll probably give them a 3. So for me, what I really did enjoy about the movie is the fact that it was um I liked how it gave me sort of those uh nostalgic moments mm-hmm. because they did try and borrow um a sort of other things from their first movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's it's a, it's a it's a sequel after all. So but they did try and and borrow from there mm-hmm. and that is why you are saying that maybe if you didn't watch the first movie there are certain things that are not going to make sense. Mm-hmm. So that's one thing I did enjoy is that it just took me back to my childhood. Some of the things that they did I'm like, "Oh, I remember this when I was watching this movie from the first yeah. time." And even how um I hope this is not a spoiler I'm alert, but even when he gets to America there is that um attire that any mafi had yeah. and it was like you can't you can't be if you are in america you need to do what the americans do and he dresses like an american yeah. so how they they brought back that how they tried and brought back some of those sexual chocolate so that's <laughs> what i <laughs> so that's yeah. what i really enjoyed about the movie it's it's just it it gave me that um no nostalgia nostalgic moments that's what well, i well for me uh, i would give them three and a half Okay, for and based on that. Movie. Uh-huh. Uh based on I think the storyline really that thing they of them forcing him to have a son it, it was such a turn off for me. Okay. Yeah, and uh, there are other it was kind of predictable in a way. You you recall. Yeah, it, it was kind of predictable and which which is fine. It's fine. It's, yeah, it's, I think the first one as well. We yeah, yeah, it was kind of predictable. It's you knew what to expect. Yeah. Okay. There was nothing new when you like, oh, wow, uh, okay. I love movies with a twist, so. Oh, okay. So, okay. Uh, it, it was kind of predictable, but uh three is good enough. Okay. Three and a half. Three okay. And a half. Okay, that's fine then. Okay guys, uh I think we got to go now. We got to go. We got to go. Yes. Uh thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And guys, if you've watched the movie or you want to say something, please just comment down below and let us know what you think of the movie and what you would rate it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, over to you ma'am. Okay then. And then if you really like this video, if you enjoyed our commentary, if you really enjoyed the segment as well, let us know so that so, we can do a more of these reviews. Um but if you like this movie for now, please give it a massive thumbs up and then also don't forget to go and watch the movie if you haven't seen it and then come back and tell us what you think of the movie until we meet again bye bye